In this video, we will discuss how budgets are used by management to control operations. Top management requires periodic reports on the progress of managers toward their planned objectives. Companies use budget reports to evaluate and improve performance. From these reports, management analyzes any differences between actual and planned results. The master budget formalizes management's planned objectives for the coming year. These budgets are prepared before a period begins and are only valid for the planned level of activity. These budgets are considered to be static or fixed. To illustrate a static and flexible budget, we'll focus on one of the components in the master budget, the manufacturing overhead budget. This is the manufacturing overhead budget for MVP company, which reports both variable and fixed costs. For planning purposes, a manager must be able to identify costs as either variable or fixed. Total variable costs increase and decrease in proportion to changes in the activity level, but the variable cost per unit remains the same, whereas fixed costs remain the same in total regardless of changes in the activity level, but the fixed cost per unit will vary inversely with activity. Using the figures from the master or static budget, which are based on the original activity level of 10,000 units, the actual variable cost exceeded budgeted amounts by $132,000, which is unfavorable. Fixed costs were exactly as budgeted. The static budget gives the impression that the company did not control its variable costs. However, the static budget did not give consideration to the fact that the company produced 2,000 more units than planned. The budgeted data for variable costs are not relevant. As production increases, the budget allowances for variable cost should increase proportionately. As a result, this static budget, which is based on 10,000 units, is not a good tool to evaluate if the manager did a good job at controlling costs. This budget report is based on the flexible budget for 12,000 units of production. Using the assumptions from the master budget, we simply multiply the budgeted variable cost per unit by the actual activity. In this example, it's 12,000 units. For example, the indirect materials variable cost per unit is $25, so we multiply it by 12,000 units to arrive at the total cost of $300,000. You would do this calculation for each variable cost item. Total fixed costs do not change as activity changes, so the budgeted amounts for these costs remain the same. This report shows the differences between actual and planned results. The actual cost for indirect materials was less than the budgeted amount, which results in a favorable variance but the actual cost for utilities exceeded the budgeted amount, so this is unfavorable. Overall, this report indicates that the costs are under budget, a favorable variance. As this analysis shows, the only appropriate comparison is between actual cost at 12,000 units of production and budgeted cost at 12,000 units. Flexible budget reports provide this comparison. To summarize, a static budget is based on a single level of activity. These budgets do not consider data for different levels of activity. As a result, companies compare actual results with budget data at the activity level that was used in developing the master budget. A flexible budget takes into account that changes in activity affect costs. A flexible budget is an estimate of what revenues and cost should have been given the actual level of activity.